Hey, Ashley Bull and I are going to explain a little bit about how to use this electronic collar. Um, I've had it charging a little bit overnight, and so the first thing you have to do is there's a button on the collar you have to push to turn it on. And the button's right here. There's a light that'll come on when it's activated. All right, so now it's good to go. It should have flashed green. Here we go. All right, now you have to put it on the dog. When you put it on, Marshall, you have to make sure it's good and snug. You need these two contacts to be up against his skin. So you're going to put it on good and snug. You're almost going to think it's too tight. But you're going to put it on good and snug. Okay, now once you have it on him, and you have this little remote. Uh, this one has eight levels. I'm going to put it on five because the biggest problem I have with Bullet Dog is he likes to chew up my tree in the backyard and my gutter downspouts. He gets really, really excited, and then he wants to chew everything up. Bite everything. And I'll show you the damage he's done. These are my gutter down spouts. Where he's chewed them up. He's chewed them flat. Every single one. Shoot every single one of those flat. I'll show you my poor tree. This is my poor tree. It used to have bark on it. I had to paint it or he's taking all the bark off to keep it from dying. It's died anyway. So he'll get super, super excited and you kind of just lay in wait. You use the commands he's learning in class. So if he's on you and you want him off you, you say off. You give him a chance first. So you'll say off. If he doesn't get off, then you say off again and you push the button. You want to use a setting that's going to get his attention. Uh, the more you get his attention in the beginning, the less you'll have to use the button. Now here we're going to kind of lay in wait for Bullet Dog to get really excited and go bite the tree. That way I can show you what it's going to look like when you do push that button. Bullet Dog. Come on, are you ready to go? Are you going to go get him? Go get him. Are you going to go get him? You're going to go get him. All right. Go get him. Go get him. Go get him. Go get him. Okay, so we're going to give him. Let me, it's pretty excited. Leave it. Oh, of course he's going to obey the first time. Trying to make an instructional video, and you're going to obey the first time. Bullet dog, go get him. Go get him. Go get him, bullet dog. Go get him. Go get him, go get him, go get him. All right, that's what it's going to sound like when you push the button. Now that's the surprise sound. A lot of people think, oh my goodness, that just hurt the dog. It didn't hurt the dog. It's the same as when somebody hides behind a corner and jumps out at you and you squeal. It's a surprise and it teaches them not to do it again. It's the surprise you're looking for. A lot of people worry about, oh my goodness, is the collar humane? What makes it humane is the fact that they listen to it so quickly you don't have to do it very many times. And so that's why I really like the collar. I had to get it because Bullet was would bite so much when he was a puppy and he'd run away from you so you couldn't correct him. But I think you'll find that you get a lot more control out of Marshall and you can enjoy his company a lot more once you can get him to listen to you in mind. <laughs> 